Right. So when we uh, talk about the English education in Sri Lanka, so there is a, there is a <coughs> huge crisis. So what is this crisis? The first thing is, the most important thing is actually that we uh, understand this uh, crisis. So now uh, a large number of actually uh, English teachers teach English in uh, the school system and in addition to that uh, another the uh, uh, thousands of uh, English teachers uh, they teach English in uh, their private tutors and also a lot of uh, other educational bodies such as the universities and other private uh, educational institutions. They also uh, uh, <coughs> they also uh, uh, give a huge publicity for uh, English courses and also they uh, conduct a large number of English courses in Sri Lanka. But uh, still actually uh, uh, the crisis is there. So what is this crisis? No matter uh, whatever the number of English courses these students follow, they do not uh, uh, get the necessary English uh, knowledge they need to uh, uh, overcome the challenges that they have faced uh, when uh, following their higher education as well as uh, when uh, uh, facing the day-to-day day to day situations situations so <clears throat> uh, what is the reason for this crisis actually uh, for about uh, 10 years so there is uh, uh, there is uh, uh, the period of uh, yeah, school uh, for example when a student uh, usually attends the school from uh, grade 1 to grade uh, 12 13 uh, about uh, 10 years uh, the continuously they go to school. So even after the completion of these 10 years in the school, uh, continuously studying uh, various subjects, still actually they, uh, the majority of the students, they fail to uh, uh, obtain the necessary English language skill uh, from the, uh, the English taught in the schools. So these, so uh, here actually, so when we take these, uh, uh, these uh, things into consideration, so we have to uh, we have to question. So whether this thing is something uh, is the uh, improving English is such a difficult task. Actually, the thing is actually the the reason for this is uh, this uh, lies entirely in the uh, method that we apply in uh, teaching English. So uh, this uh, uh, according to the methods applied in the uh, schools actually, so nobody will be able to improve their English. Uh, to uh, international standards or actually uh, uh, to become able to speak English well. So uh, a large number of students we know uh, in the school system cannot speak English. So if we speak to them in English, so most of them fail to respond so because actually their knowledge of English is uh, so weak. So therefore, uh, but actually the time has now come to learn English and master English and the importance of learning English is actually uh, uh, far intense uh, than uh, it used to be. Uh, now actually uh, the everyone needs English so a large number of students actually migrate to other countries especially English speaking countries to obtain uh, higher education uh, and also actually are uh, looking for better lifestyles. So but uh, English always becomes a barrier and when they go to uh, examinations such as uh, IELTS so they still uh, struggle and sometimes they uh, fail to overcome the challenges that they face in uh, <coughs> learning uh, the, in the, uh, the English education. So therefore, actually, what is the solution? So uh, we need a solution for this one. So I am actually uh, suggesting and I am proposing the solution for this crisis. So uh, actually, so I have developed uh, uh, in one way actually it's uh, completely psychological and another way it is actually a, a behavioral and practical a method of teaching English uh, and uh, uh, Especially, this uh, the method is uh, the method is very good uh, when it comes to actually teaching the teaching English to very weak students. So uh, uh, there are a large number of students in the school system sometimes leave the classroom actually because uh, they uh, because uh, they have the intention uh, they have the impression that they are uh, the weaker students. So the impression has been implanted in them in a strong way that they are the weaker students. So the uh, the uh, attitude and also uh, the way they think about these uh, students is that they are weak. So and sometimes uh, uh, the teachers also sometimes uh, uh, sometimes uh, label them as weak students because of this factor actually. So they sometimes uh, uh, they most of the times uh, neglect lessons and also sometimes they um, they play truant. They sometimes go out of the uh, class uh, when the English teacher comes to the class. 
So this is the catastrophe actually. So this, the, we need to find a solution for this and this has happened throughout the, uh, throughout our education system for uh, several decades. But actually now uh, the time has come actually that we uh, find a solution for this uh, phenomenon. So uh, the method that I have developed especially caters for weak students. So uh, the, I have the ability actually uh, with the, by using the methods that I have developed to teach very weak students very successfully. So therefore, uh, the other thing is actually uh, we think about and we talk about a profound knowledge of English. So what is uh, a profound knowledge of English? So we need to understand the, uh, the term this uh, profound. So profound means actually so widespread knowledge of English. Widespread knowledge of English means actually we should be able to read and write and also we should be able to understand uh, uh, facts and also we should be able to uh, analyze and uh, interpret uh, information. So these are some other advanced linguistic skills that we need to develop. So, uh, so that uh, these skills actually go beyond the average uh, speaking or conversation English. But a large number of students like to obtain a profound knowledge of English but still actually they do not have an idea as to what they exactly should do uh, to uh, improve uh, their English. So uh, uh, the methods uh, that uh, I have developed actually caters to this, uh, this uh, problem also uh, because uh, uh, I know actually the extent, the length and the breadth of uh, the knowledge of English actually one should gain and how to uh, uh, transmit English knowledge to uh, students using very uh, psychological methods. So they are actually uh, uh, within a short period of time you have the ability to uh, master all the, the English uh, skills, uh, reading, writing, listening and speaking so to international levels as well as actually uh, to a very uh, fluent level uh, in a way that you can uh, uh, converse, speak uh, in detail uh, with anyone. For example, actually, uh, so uh, I have uh, categorized the, the your speaking skill, uh, speaking skill to three levels, number, level one, level two and level three like that. So in the level one actually, <coughs> you uh, get the uh, ability to uh, speak uh, in a uh, normal way that means uh, that means in a simple way for example now are you uh, somebody asks you something so where are you going uh, i'm going to kubnagar town uh, where are you from i'm from mawatagama uh, uh, and uh, in which school you studied i studied in mawatagama central so like that so to uh, in general conversation so the level two actually caters to uh, uh, some in detail uh, speaking, for example, now if you go to a doctor, so the doctor will ask you uh, uh, what kind of disease you have. So you have to say, actually, I have uh, 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 my uh, stomach, I, uh, I have a pain in my stomach. So, and also, actually, sometimes I feel uh, like vomiting, and uh, uh, sometimes, uh, uh, so I don't have an appetite, I have lost my appetite for several days, like that. So, you have to uh, give some uh, details. So, that's the level uh, two. Uh, the level three goes actually even beyond that. So level three, in the level three, uh, the conversation level. So you should be able to actually give the, the, the speaking detail. For example, if somebody asks you to uh, uh, speak about, uh, can you say something about your school life? So you should be able to give uh, 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 a lengthy uh, uh, description about uh, what you did during your school. For example, you should be able to say, well. Uh, <coughs> Uh, I studied at uh, Ibabba Central and uh, uh, I uh, did my agricultural examination in 2002 and uh, uh, it is actually one of the leading schools in our area and I liked going to school because uh, I had a lot of friends in the school and our teachers were very kind so they gave us a lot of uh, valuable advice and instructions all the time and they always encouraged us to study well and also they emphasized the importance of learning always so uh, uh, I uh, uh, also actually had uh, a lot of uh, clever friends and now actually they are doing very good jobs and also they are living very good lives. So uh, we uh, worked together as a team and we shared our knowledge and also actually we helped each other all the time. And uh, uh, so uh, during the time of sports meet actually we uh, gained a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, skills uh, and also we developed a lot of uh, uh, things that we need to actually work uh, as a community, uh, work in the community. Uh, uh, for example, uh, leadership skill and uh, team spirit and helping others are some of the things that we learned during the time of the school, the school uh, sports needs. And uh, we also actually uh, spent a lot of time out of the classroom during that period of time and it is also actually a very nice uh, experience. And uh, so if we have gained uh, some uh, experience and knowledge uh, for our life actually it is thanks to the 
uh, things that we learned uh, during our school life. So I think actually he can go back to school uh, again so he would be able to learn a lot of things. Uh, and uh, so I actually, uh, I think uh, the school, my school life is the most uh, enjoyable uh, period in my life. So like that, I mean, we have to do it again. We have to do it again. So we should be able to speak in detail about these things. So uh, that is the skill actually that we hope to develop. So these things actually can be developed within a short period of time. So uh, that's why actually, so uh, I always emphasize uh, when you uh, select, uh, uh, select an English course, so the feature is very important. Whether it is IELTS or whether it is spoken English or whether you are doing English medium service. So, uh, so uh, uh, the teacher you go to is extremely important because you can't learn English just by uh, listening to and participating uh, lectures. You know that actually there are very clever and very uh, popular teachers in the YouTube and uh, so there are thousands of lessons in the YouTube. So sometimes you also may be watching these videos but by watching these videos you can never master the uh, four skills especially reading, writing, listening and speaking. So definitely you have to, the best thing is actually that you follow a physical course. So if you come to my uh, English courses definitely you have the, uh, uh, you gain a first hand experience of actually uh, working with the language and uh, uh, how to, uh, uh, how to, uh, 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 an experience about, uh, uh, the first hand experience about uh, uh, gaining knowledge. So when you spend about uh, 10 days or 15 days, so you will feel, you can feel a wonderful uh, difference and also you can experience uh, the way uh, the the English knowledge is improving in you. So uh, the, the English knowledge contains a number of factors such as the fluency, the pronunciation, vocabulary, uh, the ability to uh, speak uh, sentence patterns, various sentence patterns in uh, uh, what call uh, Italy. So these are the actually these are some of the skills attached to uh, English knowledge. So therefore, you need to improve all these skills, and you need to uh, develop all these skills, and also you have the ability to uh, ability to uh, experience how your knowledge of English is improving. So, uh, so this is actually uh, so these are the things that you need to actually have an idea actually uh, before selecting an English course. So uh, we see actually uh, a large number of students following this course, but they do not have the expected knowledge of English. So when they actually sometimes there are some students who sometimes talk uh, uh, a few words actually sometimes uh, with much difficulty and that is not exactly actually what we expect. So we need to have a good knowledge of English, a sound knowledge of English, a profound knowledge of English and a deep uh, knowledge of English. So it is actually uh, so by following a good English course and also actually going to a correct teacher that you have the ability to gain this English knowledge within a short period of time. So I have developed, I'm always say, telling you again and again, I'm telling you, I have developed a very nice method for you to learn English. So now it is actually your uh, responsibility and also it is up to you to uh, now exploit this uh, task and improve your English uh, to uh, the levels that you need to uh, achieve your goals in your life.